Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are, I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Friday, September 12th, 2014. And today's facts is, are you thriving? Are you a thriving tree or a withering bush? Dwight, unless we sign a new contract within the next two months, our company is finished. Bob, I responded. Let's take a look at Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a planted tree by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see what heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. We observe that this blessed person is joyful in soul, trusting God, amidst life circumstances, trusting God amidst life's circumstances as he draws nourishment from the stream, producing healthy fruit undaunted by drought. After spending considerable time pondering the passage, he says, yes, that's nice, Dwight, but we still don't have a contract. Translated, it's pleasant to read the scripture but I have to face reality. So I said, Bob, let's take a few minutes and look at Jeremiah 17, 5 and 6. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in men, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heath for he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched place, places in the wilderness, in a salt land, and not inhabited. We noted that this cursed individual is cooled in his heart toward God, having become dependent upon his own ability to survive. Spiritually dry and impervious to surrounding prosperity, dwelling alone in a dying environment. In the weeks that followed, Bob began to draw nourishment from his daily times of meditation on the scripture. As an inner peace settled in, it became obvious that he was changing from a withered bush into a healthy tree. And yes, two days before the dreaded expiration of the contract, Bob and his company signed an agreement that literally overwhelmed them with work for years to come. Question. So which are you? A thriving tree or a withering bush? If you are a bush, what steps will you now take to begin the process of becoming a healthy, fruitful tree? Are you blessed? Are you the blessed man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him? Or are you the cursed man who trusts in men? who depends on the flesh for his strength. Do you think you can do it on your own? Or do you know you can do nothing without Christ? It's one of the scriptures I have on my wall. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope is, and whose hope the Lord is.
and that is today's facts of the matter. Are you a thriving tree or a withering bush? Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. If you're in rebellion, repent. Stop doing what it is that you're doing. Fullheartedly repent and don't continue to do it. I love you guys so very, very much. God bless.